Pioneer, dead but not forgotten. Included on the list of formats, it's going to get a ban list update on, on Monday. Uh, this is uh, Sultai Midrange. Got some Thought Seizes, got some Fatal Pushes, got some Uros. It's infiltrated essentially every format in Magic the Gathering. Got some Seder Wayfinders, hit some land drops consistently and filled a bin up for this. We've got a small Delirium package with Traverse the Ovenwald, being able to find things like uh, Ishkana, Walking Ballista, and Emrakul, the Promised End here. Worth noting that uh, Uro does fight, um, does fight uh, a little bit with our Delirium package, since this is uh, this Escape Exile stuff from your bin, but... Dark type's been pretty consistent part of this format since uh, since Uro happened. We have Tefri Master of Time as a couple copies from M21 that we're trying out here today. So let's go ahead and dive on in, shall we? Uh, today, as a heads up for people that are look to follow my content, as always, you can follow my schedule on... Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm out of play points. I should have checked chat. I was going to say... um. As always, for people that follow my content, my schedule is up on my schedule is up on um, my website. But for the next uh, three days, at least today, tomorrow, and Saturday, I'm going to be doing Magic Online as opposed to Magic Arena because I don't know playing playing Magic Arena at the moment when we don't know what's happening in Historic feels a little meh. And I've got I've got some moto decks in the queue that may or may not get things banned out of them come Monday, so I want to try and play them before that happens. Like talking talking about Pioneer, it feels like there's a real chance that uh, feels like there's a real chance we could see like Uro get banned here. So all right, we got twenty twenty eight tickets coming for all of our all of our treasure chesties. Thanks for the 19 months way weren't Cypress. If the only way to get cards, jumpstart cards, to look at it, or exchange wild cards, if you disagree, watch it. Yeah, I know. If that that looks like the articles that people have linked, it sounds like the only way to get it sounds like the only way to get jumpstart cards on arena is going to be limited or wild cards, which is gonna be pretty god awful for people like me that want to play constructed. But I guess that's kind of par for the course. The economy in Magic Arena is predatory and awful, so kind of, kind of be expected, I suppose. Not not letting people open Jumpstart boosters and requiring them to draft it is another way for them to milk not having fifth card protection there. So people have to draft a bunch of cards. They already have play sets of from M21. Yeah, yeah, there's a huge, huge amount of overlap in Jumpstart with uh, Orphan Guard. Okay. I feel like this probably means they're a control deck. So I'm going to keep this land heavy slow hand in case they're a control deck. So let's Joel won the PT with. Well, it's got an M21 card in it, so I'm going to go with no. I don't I don't know. People people are saying you can't buy jumpstart packs apparently. What am I predicting with bands for Monday? I don't know. Do you have a dartboard? That's about that's about how Wizards of the Coast makes their band decisions. Just set your dartboard up and figure it out. All right, well, we're definitely cycling that one. Yeah. Aren't aren't discard spells fun, chat? Don't they create stimulating and interesting gameplay that allows both players to make lots of meaningful decisions? I I certainly enjoy them. High high player agency low variance game.
Well, I don't know. They're making they're making me wait a week. They're making me wait a week to find out what uh They're making me wait a week. They're making us like wait a week and a half to find out what they're actually doing. So maybe they're making good decisions. When they make bad decisions like suspending Winota, they do it with 30 minutes notice. Well, I have all our card types here. So let's start with uh, Traverse the Oval Mall and see where we get. I think we just grab Uro, huh? Just get that going. Yeah, they announced changes to every format except Standard. They had like like literally every four. It was like like they listed like his it was like historic, pioneer, modern, legacy, pauper, I believe. Like everything but standard and vintage. Hey, I'm glad you're checking it out, Ashworld. Opponent, uh, thirst for meaning here, ditching, uh, languish, and shambling vent. This is probably the reason why they're playing some omen of the sea here, so they have some enchantments to get extra value with this. Uh, joke's on you, opponent. My good card's in my graveyard. Was Legacy not on the list of... Was Legacy not on the list of uh, formats they gave? I thought it was, but I could be wrong. You don't think it was? Yeah, let me know. Let me know how it goes, Ash World. That one, that one is a brew, so there's a good chance that one's not. Could be bad, but I had fun with it yesterday. So they're gonna get to play Time Reveler, Bounce Omen of the Sea here. Zigzol, thanks for the 23 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Sunshine, thanks for the 19 and the very generous tier 3. Legacy was not on the list. Okay, so is it just Historic, Pioneer? Historic, Pioneer, Modern, Popper. Okay, yeah, so no, no Legacy. Got it. Thanks for Link. Cody, Cody John, thanks for the third of a year. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Couldn't we have Decayed plus Ur? We could have, but they have a Tefri Time Rambler in their hand that we know about. So if I were to put the if I were to put the Uro into play, they'd just bounce it. Which seemed like not stellar. Yeah, Google, Google Calendar reminders are busted. So like again, you just like can't escape 2019 prison cards in any format anywhere. So like I need to. Kill their Narset that already drew them a card so that way I can cast my arrow and actually, you know, draw a card and, like, try and enjoy myself. And they're going to have another prison element coming down here soon that ties up my resources. It's a hard knock life. That's a good one, yeah. Nailed it. So Tefri lets them draw step thought erasure us, which isn't stellar. Search for it, Kanta. It seems like it's going to be kind of a tough nut to crack, though. I think it's just Time Raveler, so I can start... So I can start Uroing. 
Could be could be right to take search for it. I was getting to there. Oh good, I clicked through attackers there. I clicked on this, but there was input delay apparently, and it didn't actually click on it until it's an attack. Good stuff. Never change, but all right. Would not be surprised if our opponent had neutralizes this to stop the card draw. I want to escape in a way that maximizes leaving the most card types in my bin. And now we're caught between a thought erasure and an eliminate. So I think I play this out, even though it's not going to get to draw a card here because um, they're just going to thought erasure it if I leave it in my hand. So I might as well play it out. There isn't really an elevator speech of like what's what's wrong with. I mean, like push. Is there is there an elevator speech? I guess like the the really like a bridge TLDR is the power level of everything just got stupid. And it created bad gameplay patterns. I think it's probably the closest you can get to a TLDR. But there's a lot, like, like with most things, there's a lot more nuance to it than just that. Like power, power, power level, power level alone doesn't do justice to... Like, for example, talking about the lack of player agency that, uh, the lack of player agency that a lot of, uh, modern magic gameplay feels like it has. Okay. That's a good one. So they have Eliminate and Thought Erasure in their hand. How about if I Tamio down tick pick up Jace? Is that crazy? Because Tamio Tamio prevents them from Tamio prevents them from uh discarding it out of my hand with thought erasures. They need to find a way to kill this. Another merit here is they probably are going to eliminate Uro. So there could be merit. Oh, this guy. So there could be merit to um like plusing Tamio to guaranteed fill the bin up. So that way after they kill Uro, I can replace him. Okay, there's a heartless act that doesn't do much. Could potentially grind them out here. Need to try and play a little bit quicker. These are likely going to be long games, and my opponent is currently up uh, 20 seconds on clock. Yeah, fingers, fingers crossed they just thought erasure us. Forgetting that Tamiyo has static text. There's no satisfying, like, uh, red wub wub on this application, but, you know... Hey, that's a good draw. All right, so let's plus Tamio, And then what do I want to name here? What do I want to name? I have three thought seizes in my deck. I could try and like high roll and name like Vivian Reed. I like thought seize though. Thoughts is a card I would like to draw, and there's still three of those in my deck, right? It's just thoughts. Geez. Shoulda, shoulda high rolled the Vivian Reed chat. Shoulda, shoulda tried to high roll the Vivian Reed, obviously. But I've seen enough. 
All right, so sideboarding. Dispute is a maybe. Questing Beast is a definitely. Duress seems fine. Fatal Push seems really bad. Uh, no way to turn my Traverse into a Disenchant. Feels a little bit bad looking at, looking at our 75 here. I'm not certain I want Mystic Dispute. I guess they have a lot of blue spells. Anything else obvious I want out of the sideboard? Not really. Maybe I like want the E2 Extinction, just like a way to exile Planeswalkers. I'm just going to bring in a Dispute. Tags Narset and Tefri who are very annoying. Let's try it. Let's try this. Yeah, it's one of the... It's a secret layer card, I think, if I recall correctly. I think that's I think that's a super accurate take. Brad Brad Nelson's very 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 good magic player for a reason. I also I also think part of the reason why mid range struggles in historic two is that um, mid range decks historically speaking, but um they tend to beat up uh they tend to beat up aggressive decks by having larger creatures in combat. And the card Ember Cleave invalidates mid-range decks' ability to beat aggro decks inside of combat. So, like, normally mid-range decks can beat both aggro and combo because they play creatures that the creatures pressure combo but also gum the board up against aggro. And the way aggro exists today with this pseudo-combo axis of Ember Cleave making it impossible to interact with them via combat means that that means you have to overload on removal spells to be competitive in the aggro matchup and then overloading on removal spells means that you just lose to nexus of fate that's how it how it ends up lining up a lot of the time i think i'm traversing here for a land i think uh even though we drew the third land my deck's kind of mana hungry in general so i don't mind having another one rolled up here Yeah, yeah, your your five fives no longer block your opponent's three threes, or more importantly, your five fives don't even block their four fours because then they ember cleave and they don't even lose their threat, right? Thanks to the twenty seven month screen sky, welcome back. All right, so do I lead on this then? I'm gonna lead on this and see what's up. Maybe we snag a three mana planeswalker before they deploy it. Optimism chat. I have multiple three mana planeswalkers. I guess I'm just taking Narset here because she locks me out of drawing cards with both Uro and uh and Jace. Any insight on why Rune Terra constructed seems good? Because they're not afraid to manage their formats. They're not afraid to communicate with their players and manage their formats proactively. They constant constantly make adjustments. Because uh Magic the Gathering has a paper component to it. Wizards of the Coast seems deathly afraid of using their ban lists in the way that they could. And I think their hesitation to utilize their ban lists is a pretty big drawback to their game. You gotta, you gotta keep the, the finance people happy. So, like, I, I agree that it's easier to make small adjustments to a digital game where you can change the numbers on cards. However, I think it's also important to point out that I don't think Wizards does as much as they can with the tools that they have for a paper game. So, I I both agree with you that it's easier for Rune Terra to make proactive updates, but I also think Wizards of the Coast could do more than they currently do. I don't, I don't think I I don't think those two things are mutually exclusive. I think both those things can be true. 
yes, it's easier when you're digital, but also they could do more. Wow, they missed on the, the Narset activation. I assume we're going to get, like, draw step Aether Gusted here. Maybe just Heroes Downfall. Yeah, like, so, personally, I'm a big proponent of... I'm a big proponent of increasing the power level of what's going on in Magic isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think in a game that's been around for 26 years, it's really important that Wizards of the Coast, like, experiment and try different things. Otherwise, the game's going to get stale and bad. However, the flip side of that is, if you want to experiment with and try things, you also need to be willing to admit defeat or suck it up and say, okay, we tried this and it didn't work out and we're banning it. And like maybe, you know, something's coming out in the next set and we'll readjust from there, but. Yeah, that's basically, that's basically, that's my, that's my like, my TLDR. I think, I think at the core, what they've done is fine and even borderline good. But I think like what they're implement, how their implementation of how they manage things so far is not good or far from it, in fact. The standard now have the most banned cards ever. I don't I don't think that's relevant. I don't think that matters. And and comments like that, trying to like like there's a lot of people, and I think part of why Wizards doesn't uh, use their ban list in a way that I think would be beneficial for them to use it is because of the stigma around using those ban lists. Like, I think the community has basically shamed wizards into that was a great draw into not using the tools they have available to them. I think they should both ban and unban aggressively. Wow, they peeled another Void Shattered Exile, my Uro, oh, Tilt. All right, well, we're both on basically nothing, but they have a Tefri. Another Uro is probably our best possible top deck. Oh, they have an Orphan Guard too, right. They have a Companion for free, because magic. I'm going to hold on to this land for now, because not only could it get a discard spell out of their hand potentially, but if we draw a Tireless Tracker, it'll allow us to make a clue. I can't, paying money to get cards and have them be unplayable feels worse. I can't tell if that sentence is a, you should ban more often or you should ban less often statement. So like, are you saying it feels bad to have a bunch of cards be unplayable because the power level so pushed? Or you're saying it feels bad to have cards that you've bought be banned or unbanned? Celeris, thanks for 19 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Tefri Master of Time here is actually another reason to, um, it's another reason to hold the land in my hand. So this way if we draw this, we can loot through the land. Yeah, but here's the thing I don't understand either. So like you're saying like it feels bad to have cards you've bought be unplayable. Okay, how is, how is that different than me buying magic? How is that different than me loving mutate for the first week or two and then the format developing to a state where mutates unplayable so now i have a bunch of these mutate cards that are now unplayable because the format's rancid and there's only a few small number of strategies that you could play like again i think in my opinion all of the finance arguments for why we can or can't do something are bullshit i think they're lazy I think they're cop-outs. I think this has a negative finance impact is never an appropriate reason to not balance the format. And if I'm being pointedly honest, not having to deal with people treating the game I'm trying to play like a stock market 
is one of the single best things about Runeterra. Like, I thought I could get away from all the finance nonsense BS with Arena not having a secondary market, but, but you actually just can't. You actually just can't get away from the finance BS in Magic. No, no matter where you go, there's always some person that's like, But my cardboard stacks, Jeff! Think of my cardboard stacks! It's like, I just, I really just want the only goal to be making a sweet, fun game. I want that to be the, on the only thing we have in mind. Gato Gelato. Thank you for the very generous tier three. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Like, it's just so, it's so exhausting to hear, like, to, it's so exhausting to hear good suggestions and make good suggestions and then constantly just hear, well, we can't do that because my cardboard stocks. We can't. We can't make the game or improve the game or make this decision differently because my cardboard stocks. It's just, it's, it's super frustrating. It's exhausting. It makes, it makes me hate magic. That, that aspect of it ruins the game for me. Like all, all other aspects about player agency and quality of gameplay aside, the fact that Runeterra is just 100% divorced from this idea of there's a finance element to it that I need to worry about is just incredibly satisfying. All right, we're dead here at this point, right? Like we're just, and this is, and then there's the aspect going, going, coming off of, um, coming off of that and going back to the aspect of gameplay, the amount of garbage time that exists in Magic these days is, uh, is something. They're playing Big Tefri and Dig. Do I want more Mystic Disputes? It's just tough because like Mystic Dispute, um, it doesn't counter stuff when they have their, their three mana Tefri in play. You get your COVID test back from Tuesday tomorrow. That's actually pretty quick compared to what some people have heard. Mono green aggro deck being a top standard deck has been fun lately. I'm glad you have something you're enjoying, Closet Fan. And that's the key, right? Like having having decks that you enjoy playing is paramount to enjoyment of any format magic. I keep this with two discard spells. Needs uh needs to draw some lands here, obviously, but like we have we have Seder Wayfinders and Traverses past all of the actual lands in our deck, so lead on duress here, see what they have going on. Oh yeah. Discard spell your discard spell. A tale as old as time, chat. Don't mind, don't mind me. Oh, yeah. Are we having fun yet? Is it good for you, opponent? It's good for me. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, big agree with that, Pepperidge Farm.
Perfect. Blue source, please. Nailed it. I'm a little bit low on life, but I'm going to shock this in. My opponent's not really pressuring my life total in this matchup. I have Uroda gained some back. Definitely definitely just want to hold up Dispute here in the event that they have like a Thought Erasure or they have an untapped land for a three-mana Planeswalker, etc. I could have escaped Uro from the bin here. I think I'd rather wait till I can do it with the speed up. My friend's wife's a doctor and she was exposed at work by a co-worker and she's still required to go into work until she showed symptoms and now she's waiting for her test results and that's apparently a snafu as they're giving her conflicting info. Yeah well I mean part of that issue too Ryan and this is like this is the big problem from my understanding this is the big problem with like all these republican plans of like or even just not even strictly republican but just anywhere that's like trying to let this run the course like the longer that this goes on the more doctors and nurses and medical staff on the front lines are going to be exposed to these things just from doing their jobs right like there's there's a very real chance we could have a medical staff shortage personnel shortage before long as medical staff get sick and some inevitably die from covid especially as places start to get overwhelmed and like they're working longer hours and stuff like that like it's not like people talk about you know icu bed shortages and availability it's like not even just about the beds it's about having personnel to keep people in those beds taken care of bearded caveman tv thanks for the third of the year i appreciate that welcome back the virtuous j thanks for the year and a half I don't know if if you told me if you told me school school was starting tomorrow and I have to make a decision based on what's currently going on in the world my children would not be going to school tomorrow and I and I'm fortunate right like I I have an incredible amount of privilege my wife and I both have have okay jobs that we could like make that decision we could just be like okay we're going to educate our kids at home like we have been and we're just going to keep doing that until we feel it's safe to send them a lot of people don't have that, don't have that extra. Camel says, I work on the front lines. We already have shortages due to exposure. We're expected to work 60 to 70 hours a week right now. Granted, the overtime is great, but the mental toll is awful. Yeah, I'm sure it's not even just for you personally. I'm sure that's a big, big problem in general. All right, so... Hmm. I think we tr they have two heartless acts in hand i think we just tracker and zogoth try them and just make a clue so we're no longer clueless and then next we're gonna get to graph widow and i want to graph widow before we escape uro because escaping uro will likely mean we no longer have delirium again talking about the little bit of push and pull between our graveyard and not We're keeping our daughter home in the school. Daughter home. If school opens up in the fall, it blows my mind. Yep. Yep. Yeah, like, I mean, and like Christy and I, we have a newborn at home, right? So like, you know, in a, in a higher, higher risk factor group. Yeah, seven eaters. It's like it's like people just got bored. It's like people just got bored, and I think part of the issue too is like if schools are still and and because you know everything is political, life is political. Um, you know, tr Trump has appropriately identified that schools being closed in the fall is bad for him politically, right? Like the fa the fact that schools should be closed in the fall is an admission of defeat that his administration has failed to do what many countries all over the world have done, which is contain this pandemic and protect their citizens. So him and the GOP are going to push to reopen because pushing to reopen 
they think they can sweep aside the deaths and the sickness that pushing to reopen will have more easily than they can push aside schools are so closed we failed to contain the pandemic is there any real mechanism to hold the current administration accountable if you believe what you were taught in junior high and high school civics classes yes if you understand reality and been paying attention the last three years no Yeah, Harmomatic. We were we were talking about this. We have a, there's a COVID channel in the subs discord for anybody that's subscribed and wants to chat about it when I'm off stream in there too. And we we talked about it this morning. Like Illinois, where I live, um, arguably has had one of the better responses to COVID looking at everything outside of in the United States. And like I am pretty constantly stressed and worried about what's going on. I can't I can't even fathom living in a place like Texas or Arizona or Florida right now with everything that's happening in those places. McNox, thanks for the 16 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. It's a great pickup. The, one of the things that's really... <laughs> he says before he bricks on a land. Um, well, I mean, at least we're not going to brick the next four turns too, I suppose. I was going to say before we got a little bit unlucky there, one of the nice things about this deck that we're playing is even though there's only 23 lands in it, with um, Traverse and Seder Wayfinder, we do hit our land drops with some consistency up to five, which is nice. Willem, thanks for the two and a half years. Welcome back. Shimmer. Potentially an Underworld Breach deck on the other side of the table. Tenoriel, thank you for the third of the year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Oh, no, my jury's out. Hey, man, we're in our second match here. Beat a control like the first one. Yeah, probably Lotus Breach. I think I deploy... If I'm putting them on Lotus Breach, I think we play Tireless Tracker here so we can get as much pressure down as quickly as possible, try and beat them down. Work as a nurse in the ICU. I live in Missouri, but I worked in CT during the first wave. It was awful, physically and mentally taxing. I never want to go through that again. But the way my state is going, I'm going to have to work through it again. Yep. All right. So I think we, I think, yeah, it looks like confirmed Lotus Breach. Our life total doesn't really matter here. So I'm going to shock this in. We'll crack this clue. Try and draw a thought seize or an abrupt decay or something here. Is there an easy way to see Emrakul's cast across the Kanemoto? Not really. There is a very tiny four card types in Graveyard right here that updates, but it is it is very small. Uro plus two lands plus clock clue would have been better. It would have been better in the situation I'm in right now, which is where I bricked. Um, however, had I drawn an Abrupt Decay or a Trophy or a Thought Seize, I would have been better off with the line that I took there. So my hope was to draw a piece of disruption by cracking that clue and then be able to cast that piece of disruption this turn. Yeah, I agree, I agree Harmonic. Harmonic. I, was, I was super optimistic about Pioneer when it first started and then they let all these combo decks happen with Theros and I became a lot less, uh, lot less enticed with it. Oh, you know what? Small, small thing here. If I would have, if I draw a Thought Seize here, I played the wrong land. I should have played the Breeding Pool out first. Because if I draw a Thought Seize, did not, I couldn't cast Thought Seize off of this Breeding Pool. Yeah, dealing dealing with parents dealing with parents is tough. Um, I'm uh, I'm I'm fortunate. I've I've talked a little bit about this before, but like I've I've lived on my own and like paid my own way in life, working you know 40, 50, 60 hours a week sometimes since I was like seventeen. So like I don't didn't never had a dependence. Haven't had a dependence on my parents for a long time. So it's uh, 
when family when family ends up being crappy remember that if uh if unless you like are in a situation where you need where you are depending on them financially or for whatever else you know the, the family you choose is definitely something i'm a big a big big fan of It's just, it's, it's tough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's really hard. All right, we are statistically dead here now, right? They have uh, Underworld, they have uh, Hidden Stirrings, they have a pour over the pages. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, like I said, I I acknowledge and understand that I'm fortunate to have been in a position to be able to do that, to just be like, hey, I don't want your racism around my children. Please, please leave, please leave my house and don't come back unless you can fundamentally change as a person. It's it's sad to have to do things like that, but you know, I have I have kids and I don't want them to end up in. I want them to end up uh, doing, saying, or believing things that are terrible. <sighs> I think I'm happy with this. We're going to board in the Unmoored Egos. We're going to board in the Disputes and the Duresses. Oh, Soul Guide Lantern's great. Yeah, good call. Tamio's a little slow. Mm, Tamio's probably better than Tefri, actually. Tamio rebuys Disruption from the bin. This is, this is a matchup that's definitely a little bit tough because... Uh, I would think it's tough because... Um, even though we have disruption, our deck's not particularly good at applying a fast clock. Make it big agree, Bob. Yeah, Tamio, Tamio also helps uh, escape Uro faster, which is one of our ways to apply a clock, which is nice. Maddie Bamante. I love you, I promise. I miss coming over with Chipotle midstream. I think I missed Teneral and Willem too. Welcome back, folks and McNucks. We are teaching Excel here today. Maddie, I miss Chipotle so much. It's the little things. It's the little things. Yeah, the the tipping the tipping point for me with uh, one of one of my family members was um, the tipping point for me with one of my family members was definitely um, does anybody remember um, the 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 I I Ilhan uh, Omar I believe is the congresswoman from Minnesota and they they couldn't understand that it was. They they genuinely didn't believe that it was racist to say send her back, and I was just like, just like you you all voted for a person whose campaign slogan was literally this country needed to be made great to get. So you you very clearly think that it is okay to criticize America because you voted for a rich white man who ran on the platform that something was wrong with America and it needed to be fixed. But when an immigrant says it, or someone that looks different or believes different from them, that that's not okay and you can't criticize America if you look the way she looks in their opinion. It's just like, you don't, you don't understand and see the, the, like, the critical difference there. Oh, Ilhan Omar is a representation or a real life enactment of what is literally the American dream or what was supposed to be the American dream or what I was taught to believe the American dream was supposed to be growing up. Like she, she immigrated here and came here for a better life and she got an education and she is impacting and trying to improve our country by taking part in the system in the legal correct way to do so 
like all of all of those people who are like, well, I don't I don't hate all immigrants. I just hate illegal immigrants. You're like, no, if you hate Ilhan Omar, who came here legally and did everything right and got elected to office, like that is literally what the American dream is. You're like that that you're supposed to you come here and you create a better life for you and your family. Like And that was honestly, that was one of the the toughest things and like obviously like I understand how much privilege I have to say that this was one of the toughest things for me, but like realizing realizing that the people that I grew up around and was taught to respect growing up didn't actually believe the things that they were saying. And like, if I think back on the way they phrased the things they said constantly over the years, there was always this thinly veiled racism underneath it that I just didn't understand because of what I what was what I grew up around it was just like incredibly disappointing. It was just like, oh, I thought you people had morals and ethics and values and believed the things when you were saying, but you actually didn't. And you're actually just a bunch of racist pricks. Correct. Yeah, it's correct. It's not, it's not even thinly veiled anymore. All the, all the quiet parts get said loud now. All right. So we want to leave a blue up here so we can hold up mystic dispute while we escape this arrow. If we're a little bit fortunate, we'll draw a, uh, if we're a little bit fortunate, we'll draw an untapped land here to put into play. So that way we can mystic dispute a non-blue spell. Try and prioritize keeping card types. This is artifact, uh, enchantment creature, land staying in the bin. So we'll still have four in here. Perfect. Yeah, right, Silence? Probably snapping off Dispute on anything it can counter at this point, because they have, they have so much mana that I basically just want to try and get the one-for-one one here so I don't have to hold mana up for it every turn. I'd apologize for the off-topic ranting, but there hasn't been a ton going on in this game anyways, and we've talked about the couple of decisions that have mattered. Hey, abrupt decay. That's great. Yeah, of course Trump's married to an immigrant. And of course Trump voted, voted by mail. Come on now. You couldn't spell hypocrisy without GOP. That's true. That's true. And we've actually talked about that before too, right? Like the, the amount of, um, ranting we do is definitely directly proportional to, uh, how fast paced the gameplay is. So like Moto definitely has more rants than anything else. Cause the gameplay is so slow on average, the pace of it. And then like, uh, what's it called is the, I dispute this, make them use most of their mana. And then uh, Arena has a little bit, and then Rune Terra has the least room for rants because, like, the number of decisions you have to talk through in that game is huge. Hey, Shellers, thanks for the 20 months. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Granted, I wish, I wish upon a star. Opponent does also have a Luris in their hand. Well, that's terrifying. We got a couple of draws here at uh, at a thought Caesar discard spell. 
Or you're dead. Quality abrupt decay. Mono green haste creature, I choose you. Da -da -da -da. Psychonaut! Thanks for the 15 months. Could not agree more. What is your quest? We seek the face! We should have attacked with the Jace to show dominance. Agree, big punt. I think Questing Beast is honestly just our best threat in this matchup. And if this hand draws a blue source, we get to Ego here. So I think this is worth the worth the kind of speculative keep here on the draw. Again, things like Seder Wayfinder and um, Traverse gives us lots of ways to find blue sources potentially. Wow, their hand doesn't do a whole lot, huh? We'll start by taking four over the pages here. Okay, yeah, they have Lotus Field though. Hopefully, hopefully we can just run hit hit this questing beast on curve and run them down. One of your finest blue sources, please. Ring a ding ding. What's the wilt for? The wilt's probably just a hedge in case I have various artifact hate, like Graph Digger's Cage or something like that. All right. Well, I was going to say, do we Unmoored Ego or do we Seder Wayfinder to try and guarantee the Quester Sin? But we hit the land. So let's just go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and name Underworld Breach here. This doesn't mean they're just dead, but it does mean they're going to be slower. So we get to take all of these out of their deck. They can still Fey of Wishes for them, however, but that does make them slower. So hopefully this slowing them down a bit means in conjunction with Questerson, we can run them down. A couple of people commented yesterday that the audio felt lower than normal. I don't think I adjusted anything in my setup. And is it like just lower than normal or is it like hard to hear with your volume at max? As long as, as, long as it's level, as long as the audio is level, I don't really care if it's low, lower than normal. I can still hear my AC. Sorry, Demox. <laughs> I apologize for missing the my in there at a glance. Weird. I wonder if something changed on Twitch's back end. If some people are having to do different than, than not. This is the part where they Ugin us and we die. Oh, this is the part where they get the Underworld Breach out of the sideboard and then kill us, right? Nah, I have a backlog of constructed decks I want to play, Jalark, so not really looking to explore the lab. Are we objectively dead at this point? I'm not actually 100% sure how they kill us, but. Yeah, Esper, Te Tefri Narset deck into linear combo decks been a good reminder of like, a couple of people when we started, they were like, what happened to Pioneer? Tefri Narset into, into Underworld Breach though, it's kind of reminded me what happened to Pioneer. <laughs> Was one more to go for stirring is an option. It, it, instead of me telling you it's a bad idea, tell me why it's a good idea. 
I don't, I don't have a lot of experience with this format, so rather than me shitting on you, tell me why you're smart. I'm smart because I'm in Twitch chat, of course. Shout out to all the lawyer doctor astronauts in Twitch chat. I appreciate you. Slumming it, slumming it here today with us. Yeah. <laughs> I Things like that still make me chuckle. Like, can you believe what we just lost to is legal? And Smuggler's Copter and Field of the Dead are banned in this format? It, re it still just cracks me up to this day. Because it's, it's just like, it's so offensively stupid. That like, those, those things are banned. Okay, so... For, for the record, I think Oath of Nyssa is a good ban. At the rate, at the rate of, at the chance of having chat ridicule me, I actually think Oath of Nyssa is a good ban. Much like there's people that are very much like they want to unban cards like Ponder and Preordain and Modern. I actually think good cantrips are tedious and should largely be banned from every format. Trans rights or humans rights. Also, get off this stain of the application and go play Easy Karma. <laughs> I would be super excited to make today an all easy day for Room Terra, Bob. We're gonna finish this set though. Someone did pay for Magic Online, so I'm gonna we're gonna play one more match at least after this one. But we could definitely start Room Terra Day with Easy Karma. I appreciate the absurd support as always, Bob. I'm really, I'm really glad you've been enjoying Runeterra. I've been enjoying Runeterra too. Hexproof from Black. When deals combat damage to a player, look at that many cards at the top of your library, reveal a creature or Garrick from among them. So can't fatal push that because magic's not very interactive. We did nail the blue source here, so that's nice. I think I'm just bidding the Emrakul for now. Pretty far off of that. For people asking why we're playing Magic Online, I do still take Magic Online submissions. They are twice the price of Magic Arena and Rune Terra submissions, but I am still taking them. I'm going to be focusing on getting through the couple of Magic Online submissions I've had waiting in the queue uh, in the next couple of days because a bunch of the formats, uh, historic is a lame duck format until Monday, basically. They're a Winota deck. Okay. Do you want me to phase you out of time? Brian Blur, thank you for re-upping that prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome to Oglandia. Thanks for keeping me around. Yeah, Moto is definitely not super new player friendly, so I, under, I understand that for sure. I'm going to be, I am super ready for Monday's historic announcement to literally be uh, the cards that we suspended are now banned. Super, super ready for that to be the case. What are the chances Monday's changes get implemented Monday? Probably 0%, which is real frustrating. I'm hoping that Monday's changes get implemented on Tuesday. I think Tuesday might be realistic, but there's a good chance that they don't happen for even longer than that. I think I'm just ditching the swamp here. Want the rest of the action in my hand? If they if they don't implement the bandless changes they announce on Monday till Thursday, I'm gonna be really frustrated. That is uh, unacceptable in my opinion.
I don't know. I'm a I'm a pretty big proponent of I think all of the bands they did this doesn't have trap, right? I think all of the bands they did in Pioneer were fine at the time that they did them. However, once they stopped managing the format and once they stopped once they got to a point where they were once they got to a point where like Theros happened, it was no longer okay, basically. This is the TL TLDR of my opinion. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Get some auto yields in here, gain some life. Get to go ahead and fatal push this war boss. Hoping I need to crack my clue now. Because otherwise I can't with the tithe taker. Anything's going to happen on the 13th? I have no idea. They're so inconsistent yet. Is phasing something out trigger revolt? I don't believe so. So we need to fade Winota here. Okay, that's not a Winota. I have a 6-5 now. All three of the combo decks and Pioneer currently are Theros cards. Yeah. Yeah, all the all the big combo decks uh, were cards that were recently printed. So the Harbinger attack here makes it feel like they could have a burn spell in their hand, but I think I'm okay trading tracker for this plus a burn spell. sure okay and then like next turn we just escape Uro, and then my opponent uh is on winota or bus to win basically so with tithe taker that wasn't an option lorwyn soldier In fact, I still can't, I still can't hold that up. Oh, I can hold up Murderous Rider though, huh? Okay, so we'll loot here and we'll discard this. And now I can hold up Murderous Rider to kill when notice so the game should be over at this point. Advantage, advantage bar firmly on our side of the board. So long as, so long as we don't give them a chance to attack with a when the game is over. It's garbage time. You don't have to go home, but you can't play here. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we can also just phase one out at a time. That's so dumb. This card's real good. It does still cost one mana. I gotta leave a mana up, but it's still pretty good. Oh, you know what? I think I'm through all my basics, right? Because I have five here and I exiled a swamp earlier. As Fabled Passage actually doesn't do anything other than shuffle. Oh, it does. It does give us revolt. That's true. That's how good my hand is opponent. Just discarded the Vivian. 
case, case you're wondering. Can't find a land. Incredibly unlucky. Nah, Delver's a great card. If you love Delver and you've been playing um, Runeterra, you should definitely check out the uh, Tempo deck we played yesterday. Felt very Delver-esque. We'll start attacking with this tireless tracker here soon as well. Attack all and spider dreams lethal. I don't know. Requires me to do to do math. When like my opponent just like literally doesn't have outs in their deck, so like, I don't know. Why would I why would I do math? Yeah, I have to like draw fewer cards to do that too. Seems like a punt. Fine. Fine. Is this what you want, chat? Does this make you happy? We stop drawing cards, you're a monster. <laughs> like a monster. All right, Languish is great. Legion's end might be okay. Definitely want to trim some of my chunky top end against the aggro deck. The clicking buttons phase. Garbage time. The game is over, but you're still playing. I guess this deals with uh this deals with the two one pretty cleanly, which is nice. Languish is coming to Historic, Manny. We're going to get Languish in, uh, in Jumpstart, right? This might be right to Mulligan. I don't know. They Mulligan. I get to thought seize them. If we see her, we find her can flip over an arrow. Kali Taz autocorrected to Kalista. I'm sorry, can't remember which cards of Jumpstart are historic, legal, and which are not. It's funny. It's funny because it's true. One of the... One of the strangest parts of it all is that, like... You know, they bend, not even strange, it's like frustrating even. They bend over backwards to have digital accommodate paper, but they never, ever make any effort, it feels like, to have paper accommodate digital. Well, this is almost how we drew it up. I, like, wanted to draw some spells and hit a land with this, but we did at least hit the Uro, so we got that going for us. I got five cards in the bin, so like once I chump block with the Seder Wayfinder, I can escape the Uro. We want to make sure we play a blue source in the next two turns so that we can escape a row on four. I've been trying to play card games with my friend group for years now and none stuck until a sure That's great, Cusley. Yeah, the core core gameplay mechanics are real good.
Yeah, that's like pretty minimal overall, though, Allure. I mean, like, for example, the Jumpstart team could have worked with the digital team to deliver a unified product. Man, feels magic, man. Feels magic, man. No nothing is more magic than having your entire strategy shut off by an opposing card so you just don't get to play the game. It's really an incredible experience. I have anything on my sideboard I can bring in to kill that, right? Okay, maybe we'll bring five mana Vivian back in. There's an extra, extra way to kill an enchantment. At least it's symmetrical. Glass half full. <laughs> Two things that are hexproof from my deck. A card that turns off my deck. Rough. I'm going to trim these traverse the Olvenwalds. So you get shut off by rest in peace. Yeah, this is fine, right? We got a cheap removal spell. We've got a Jace to provide a little bit of card selection. We get some lands. We got a decent curve out and some four drops. Well, to be fair, they did update phasing so that way it worked more intuitively with tokens. Pre previously, phasing got rid of tokens. They perhaps credit to them, they adjusted that so it doesn't anymore. Hmm. Mom and Pop Thopter Shops, a sweet one. It makes makes bodies that trigger Winota and also gets found with Winota. I think we're decaying the rest in peace here. I I wanted to be certain that the rest in peace was the card I wanted to kill with the decay. If they had like a if they had like a Legion War boss in their hand, there's a real chance that I want to hold the decay for that. We're just spinning that, playing this, and passing. Maybe I'm supposed to kill Pia and Kieran Nalar before they can throw a token at Jace. It takes up most of their turn, though. It's going to sacrifice an artifact to deal two to something. All right, so we're probably dead here because they drew a land. So they evolution this into a Noda and attack and get a couple of triggers here. Yeah, just did. I guess I could draw a Languish. Yeah, two shots at a Languish.
Will Snipe for food. Thanks for 38 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. So, beat the interactive slash prison deck that we played against in the first match. Gotten our stuff completely pushed in by back-to-back -back combo decks in the second and third match. Turns out, turns out Pioneer's not that different than the last time we played it. We'll give it one more shake here. If we eat it in the fourth one, we'll call it a day, move on to Rune Terra. If we get the fourth one, we'll try and try and play the fifth one to get some of our dollars back. In Florida, the median age of new cases of COVID was 65 in March, and it was 21 last week. Hashtag spring break. Spring, spring break, bars opening, you know. Dad, I'm a burrito. You're a burrito, baby. Hello, baby girl. Are you precious? What do you think? Should we keep? Dad thinks we can keep. We don't have an untapped black source, but maybe we'll get lucky on the draw. Dirty Digits, thanks for 11 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Ugh. Bink down, Mom. Bink down. Need to wash that one. The floor in Dad's office is gross, baby it's girl. It's disgusting. I mean, it's not, like, dirty, but it could use a vacuum. Choked estuary, likely inverter. We'll see. Could be could be a brew. Could be another Esper deck. Yeah, we should definitely keep your baby. We'll keep her. We keep her. For those that are new, this is my wife Christy and our daughter Haley. Haley is three weeks old. Can it do any tricks? Not quite yet, Tom Toe. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the videos. There are brain. Thanks for the five months. We think you're adorable. I think they're right. All right. Confirmed inverter. Opponent just like naturally has the combo here in hand. Feels magic, man. Take uh, take the inverter, I suppose. I tried to get rid of him. Nope. Uh, H A I L E Y is how we were spelling Haley's name. But nice try. <laughs> oh, that was a toot. All right, now I'm trying to give her to you. <laughs> You've unloaded, Mom. She wants to say hi. Of course, she's awake. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great shot you are adorable child i think we're just gonna go ahead and uro here to start they have fabled passage and fatal push so if i play out courser or tracker they can kill it before they get value I love you girls. They need a Haley emote, honey. Are they still releasing secret layers? I guess that doesn't surprise me. Greed. I guess greed doesn't surprise me. Uh, choked Estuary, or a Hand Land, comes into play tapped unless you reveal a card type of it from the bid. Or from your hand, sorry, not the bid, from your hand. Why would they stop printing money? Because they can't actually ship them out, right? 
Like they're having issues with shipping them. They've got Dig Through Time, Thassa's Oracle, and then three cards I don't know now. Good chance this Dig Through Time finds another inverter to let them combo, combo us. Let's investigate keyword. The investigate keyword creates clues, so you're no longer clueless. And clues are artifacts that you can sacrifice to draw a card. So they're kind of they're kind of like a delayed card draw. Imagine how much worse Uro would be if he just investigated instead of straight up drawing a card. All right, I've got four card types here in my bin. Let's lead on Courser and see what's on top. Okay. Your LGS is starting FNM again tomorrow. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's it's tough, right? Like. A lot of small business owners, because the people that are in the United States Congress are being put in this awful spot where they have to choose between, you know, their ability to survive and, and like putting people at direct risk. So it's, uh, it's kind of awful. Yeah, good on good on you, Penguin. Yeah, I feel for it. Like, um, you know, something we talked about too, everything going on in the world and the country with COVID, um we we will likely see, you know, there's a reason why Amazon is making more money than ever before right now, right? Like there's a good chance everything that's occurring accelerates the Amazonification of the country. There's a good good chance that we see that happen sooner. Like it was probably going to happen eventually, but like it's going to happen faster than it was previously happening, I think. So we can abrupt decay Narset. The problem here is at some point they're just going to like find an inverter and go inverter plus Jace. I guess, I guess I can draw this and see if there's land on top of our deck to start. Maybe I'm also just supposed to, it's possible I'm just supposed to escape Uro this turn rather than, I'm so fucking dumb. I'm so dumb. There's a, there's a prison card in play. And there's an oops emote. We would oops emote, but you know. I wanted, wanted to see the top card of my deck before I made decisions. Twenty 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 magic in a nutshell. Play differently because there's always prison cards. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna put play Runeterra. I'm done. We played. I I guarantee two matches. I just want you to know that if you submit decks for these formats and the formats suck. I'm gonna be done after two matches, so let's play let's play some Runeterra.